What's up everybody, it's Critical. This week I've been flooded with an unusual volume of emails pertaining to something I talked about in the past, and usually my emails consist of websites like Habo Hotel telling me that my son has signed up for an account, I don't have a son, daily Betty Crocker updates because some sick fuck out there signed me up for a Betty Crocker newsletter, but god damn it if some of those aren't some surprising meals from Betty Crocker, I'll give her that much. So I was a bit shocked this week when I looked past all of the strange newsletters and questions like if my ass was a dog, what would its name be and what breed? to see that I was getting questions about something I talked about in minimal detail a while back, so I figured I'd dive a bit deeper into this tale to give closure to those people that are asking for it. So it would have been about two years ago now, maybe a little more than two years ago. The story begins as all good tales do. The previous night I was out drinking heavily, and I woke up the next morning with a pretty bad hangover. And as one does when they're faced with a rough hangover and regret from spotty memories from the previous night where you're claiming you're Alexei Vunderwolf, famed bear wrestler from Russia, you get out of bed, and you start masturbating to help get over the hangover. I don't understand why it works, but it does. It helps get over the hangover. So I began cleaning the clarinet, and I was really in the zone. I threw on my favorite lesbian porn film. It's a threesome called Menage a Trois. It's on Pornhub if any of you would like to watch it. I believe it's probably the best hangover cure out there right now. And I was really just enjoying it, and I wasn't even considering it a masturbatory task. It was just me, this beautiful video I was watching, and my cock in my hand. Also, as a side note, I like to watch the porn on my phone because you can double tap and zoom in so you can kind of be your own cameraman, and I like that aspect, because sometimes the camera angles aren't great, so I like the double tap feature. Doesn't It's not really pertinent to the story at all, but I just thought it's worth throwing in there. And as by the time the video started winding down, and it's a 30 plus minute video, and this was an entire 30 minutes of me going at it pretty hard, I was beating my dick like it owed me money, and eventually my dick deployed its cream and my mission was complete. I ejaculated in other words, or if I want to be more hip with lingo, I made cum. So I paused the video and I closed my eyes and thanked Jesus for what I had just watched on my screen. And then I turned off my phone, and I went to clean up my cock, and my neck was stiff because I was holding it at eye level, and I guess I just hadn't moved very much, I was like a fucking statue just looking at this thing. You probably could have mistaked me for a wax figure, except for the rapid hand movement on my penis. And I very slowly looked down to begin the cleanup process, and I noticed my dick was extremely red. And it was also beginning to swell, because my dick did not have this type of girth. It looked like my dick had been replaced with a head of cauliflower. The skin surrounding the pecker had it inflated so much so, it was like someone was trying to make a fucking balloon animal out of it. I immediately was able to recognize that something had gone awry in this masturbatory process. I decided I didn't want to go get it seen right away because that's kind of an embarrassing thing to tell a doctor. Hey, look, I beat my meat so hard that now it looks like I've hurt myself. What do I do? So I decided to wait it out. I gave it like an hour to see if the swelling or the redness would go down, but it just continued to get worse. By the time I did go get it checked out, it looked like a fucking bowling ball down there. That's not really a good comparison, though, because it, it wasn't like a fucking bowling ball. It didn't turn into a giant ball or anything. It still had, like, a penis shape, but since it was flaccid, it, it, there was more girth than length to it, and it was super swollen. It looked like you could have sucked helium out of it. But anyway, I went to a walk-in clinic because I wanted to get seen right away. And if any of you have been following me for a long time, you know that I'm very much a hypochondriac. That's not an exaggeration. I am genuinely a hypochondriac. So I was freaking out about this. I was worried they're gonna have to cut my dick off or something like that. Now when I did get into the waiting room at the walk-in clinic and the nurse was asking me why I'm there and all this such, I wasn't embarrassed, I told them, because there's no reason to be embarrassed. It's important to have shit like that checked out. And the nurse left, and I was already two steps ahead of the doctor. I knew they were gonna wanna see my penis, so I'd already had my pants around my ankles, basically. I didn't know if I was gonna be seen by a male or female, and it didn't matter to me. If it was a female, I definitely wasn't gonna be embarrassed, maybe even a little bit proud, because it looked like I was packing heat down there albeit probably not the color or shape she'd be used to because it was extremely red and inflamed and it looked like a fucking UFO or a soup dish turned over. Eventually the doctor comes in, he examines my wiener and he immediately asks what happened and I, I'm honest with him, I said, look doc, I had a hangover and I gave my chicken a hard choking this morning to try and get over it. And he said, well, it definitely doesn't look good. It looks like it's been injured. I mean, it definitely did look like that. I didn't need a doctor to tell me that. It looked like I'd been hit by a fucking sledgehammer. And he says, if it continues to swell and it starts blocking urine, there'll have to be some surgery done on it because that's very dangerous, obviously. So I start freaking out. I'm already kissing my dick goodbye. I'm debating just walking down the wall in the office there and giving myself a blowjob just for one last oorah to send my cock off in style. But he gives me these pills to help with inflammation. And obviously I start taking the pills to try and help with this problem. It was supposed to be taken every six hours. And I swear to God, not one fucking millisecond went over six hours before I was popping that next one. I wanted to get this problem rectified so that way I could continue to e-rectify this wood down here. 
and it did help it took about three or four days and the swelling started to gradually go down and i was still able to pp and yeah that it had a happy ending luckily but let this be a lesson to all masturbators out there you know who you are all seven billion of you be careful when you're masturbating down there it's a very sensitive area if you're not paying attention you might just fuck up your dick or vagina. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe if you just rub your clitoris too hard, you can injure it and it can swell up and look like a head of broccoli like my dick did. But yeah, uh, there's the story. That's it. See ya.